All right, in this unit, we're gonna be working with data sources. We have an application that works on its own, but it does not connect to the database yet. We're gonna change that. We're gonna have our Spring Boot application connect to a database, run queries on the database, return results, and also make updates to the database. So it's the whole CRUD operation. So we're gonna try that out in this unit. And we'll also learn what are the configuration steps that we're gonna to have to do to connect to one such database. So what's Spring Data JPA? There are a couple of terms that you need to be aware of to understand what Spring Data JPA does. First is what JPA actually means. JPA stands for Java Persistence API. It's basically a specification that lets you do ORM uh, when you're connecting to a relational database, which is object relational mapping. Most of the databases we work with in an enterprise situation are SQL databases. Of course, this is changing and a lot of NoSQL databases are popping up, but uh, for the most part, it's still a lot of SQL. So a SQL database is what's typically referred to as a relational database. You have tables and uh, keys, foreign keys, primary keys, which are relational. Uh, so when you need to connect from your Java application to a relational database, you need to be able to use something like JDBC and uh, run queries, SQL queries, there could be named queries, which run on that relational database. And then you get the results and convert it into object instances, right? So you are in your Java application, you have uh, classes and objects. What ORM does is let you map your entity classes into uh, SQL tables so that when you connect to the database, you provide some kind of metadata on your entity classes so that you don't have to do the query and then the mapping yourself. The framework kind of handles it for you, right? So that's ORM. And JPA is a way for you to use ORM. JPA is the API, it's the spec, which lets you configure your entity classes and uh, give it to a framework so that the framework does the rest, right? It handles the conversion from your, uh, you know, SQL read queries to object instances, which is pretty handy. So this is JPA only. Now Spring Data JPA is a separate project which lets you make working with all these ORM tools even easier. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this unit. We're gonna be looking at how Spring Data JPA lets you connect to a relational database and let you provide this JPA configuration on your entity classes, but then have the framework handle a lot of work for you. And it's amazing how much work it handles. You don't really have to do a whole lot. It's very minimal and you can get a simple CRUD uh, operation going. So that's what we're gonna be doing. 